Welcome to the Division of Maternal Child Health at the Jewish General Hospital. Enjoy the tour! To reach the Family Birthing Center, also known as the FBC, enter Pavilion K at 5767 Ligari Street. On the left side of the lobby, you can find elevators that you should take to the third floor. An underground parking lot is available and can be entered at the corner of Bouret Avenue and Legere Street. A fee is charged. A food court, all of whose outlets are kosher, can be found in the Carrefour Lyapolansky on the first floor of Pavilion K. The second cup coffee shop is open 24 hours a day, seven days a week, except on holidays and on Saturdays, which is the Jewish Sabbath. At the triage desk, a member of the team greets patients when they arrive. If no member of staff is there, pick up the black phone on the wall to the right of the desk. Someone will answer. There are four triage rooms. When the patient arrives, a nurse and a doctor assess her condition and permit her to be accompanied by one visitor. If mom is in labor, she is admitted. A waiting area beside triage is available to families and patients. If the mother-to-be is less than 18 weeks pregnant or is experiencing a non-obstetrical problem, she should go to the hospital's emergency department on the S2 level of Pavilion K. There are 13 private labor and delivery rooms in the FBC. Each room is equipped with an adjustable bed for the patient, a chair that folds out into a bed for the loved one's comfort, a shower that can help with managing pain, a nitrous oxide dispenser that can be used for pain relief during labor, a baby warmer if the infant needs help during delivery, a fetal heart monitoring system that is connected to the nursing station where the baby's heart rate can be monitored. One jacuzzi bathtub is also available in the FBC. While the patient is in labor, there are no restrictions on visiting hours. However, a maximum of three visitors is recommended. For security reasons, Children under the age of 15 are not allowed into the labor and delivery room. In an emergency, the healthcare team may ask visitors to wait in the waiting area. Two operating rooms are located in the FBC and are mostly used for cesarean sections on weekdays. One person can accompany mom during her C-section. There are four recovery rooms where mom and baby can recover after the procedure. One person may stay with mom at this time. If an emergency C-section is required outside regular hours, it is performed in one of the hospital's main operating rooms, followed by recovery in the post-anesthesia care unit. One person can accompany mom during her C-section unless general anesthesia is used. However, this person is not allowed into the recovery area. At this time, the baby is brought to the postpartum unit on the fifth floor of Pavilion C. Family members and loved ones are asked to wait there as well. The high-risk pregnancy unit on the third floor of Pavilion K monitors high-risk patients during pregnancy. Inductions are also performed if the mother or baby has health problems that require delivery to be initiated. Once labor has progressed, mom is transferred to the labor and delivery area. The Jewish General Hospital is a tertiary care center with a neonatal intensive care unit on the third floor of Pavilion K. Here, neonatologists, nurses, and respiratory therapists provide care to premature babies and newborns who have had complications. Once mom gives birth, she stays in the FBC for about 90 minutes until she is transferred by stretcher or wheelchair to the postpartum unit on the fifth floor of Pavilion C. The average length of stay is 36 hours for a vaginal delivery and 72 hours for a C-section. There are various types of room in the postpartum unit. Nine of them are private with a shower in each room. 27 are semi-private, which means that two patients occupy one room. Seven of these rooms have one shower that must be shared. All other patients in semi-private rooms must share one of the two communal showers that are entered from the hallway. There is one room that accommodates four patients. The patient can choose the type of room that she prefers ahead of time, but there is no guarantee that it will be available. She may be placed in another type of room and her name may be put on a waiting list for the room of her choice. A fee may apply. Mom and baby remain together throughout their stay to enable them to bond and to facilitate breastfeeding. Visiting hours are from 3 p.m. to 8.30 p.m. At all other times, a security guard will ask visitors to leave. However, 
A partner or loved one may stay overnight and use a fold-out chair that can be found in most rooms. Otherwise, they can use family room C568 on the fifth floor of Pavilion C. Food can be stored in a communal fridge in the family room. The computer in the family room is equipped with tutorial videos on how to install a baby car seat and how to give the baby a bath. These videos can also be found on YouTube. Before the patient is discharged from the hospital, a declaration of birth must be picked from the admitting office. On weekdays, go to room C563 on the fifth floor of Pavilion C. On evenings and weekends, go to room B114 on the first floor of Pavilion B. This concludes the tour. For further questions, we invite future moms, dads, and loved ones to attend our information session. Please ask your healthcare provider for the schedule of dates.